All right, Shalom. Ram. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here toiling in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, Jim S. Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. And uh, I think I'm going to entitle this, The Most Todd Deals With Men in the Flesh. You know, because you have a lot of people, you know, that, that, you know, these unlearned, you know, a lot of these people that don't know, that really don't know what's going on, uh, which they're set up, you know, they're in their lot and they're set up to, uh, to, to, to be thus. But, uh, you know, they don't believe that the men of the Lord, these men out here teaching this word, are set up by the Lord and, and that the Lord is dealing with these men. But the, the, the Lord has always dealt with men, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord dealt with Moses. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord dealt with Elijah. You know what I'm saying? And, if, and you know, just different uh, 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 Shai, You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, uh taught uh, uh, men as well, man. You know, the apostles slash uh, Salakia, the, the uh, disciples slash apostles, man. You know what I'm saying? When he when he was here on uh, uh, on the earth, man. You know, as a matter of fact, Yahawashai was a man. Was was a man. Was was the Lord not dealing with Yahawashai? You know, come on, man. You know, and and, and, and King David. You know. Uh, uh, so so, and a matter of, as a matter of fact, the point I was going to make is 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 Yahawashai dealt with men, man. You know, the disciples slash apostles. The, they were disciples when Yahawashai was teaching them. And they became apostles when they had learned what they needed to learn. And, and he was ready to send them out to teach, man. And that's what apostle means. Send away, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, you're ready to teach. Go out there and teach. Send away. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, they were men. You know what I'm saying? So why is it so hard to believe that the Most High was dealing with, he deals with men, man? He always have dealt, has dealt with men. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to, you know, just really quick, I'm not going to make this too long. You know, the most I deal through, through men on the earth in the flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to really quick, let me get Revelation the 14th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 6 and it reads, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. So this is, a, this is an actual celestial angel, man. You know, because the angels are dealing in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're what's making everything that's happening in the earth happen in the earth. Uh, uh, via the Lord, uh, uh, Yahweh, man. You know what I'm saying? You know they get their instructions from Yahweh, and and they perform those those things in the earth, man. So it says, and I saw an, a, an angel fly in the midst of heaven. This is an actual celestial angel, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. And of course, the only reason that uh, uh, this that 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 uh, uh, gospel is being preached. To every nation and kindred and tongue and people is because uh, the Israelites have been scattered among every nation, kindred and tongue and people, man. You know, that's the only reason. But it says that an angel flew them through the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell upon the earth. Now, is an actual celestial angel teaching this gospel, man? No, man. You know what I'm saying? The that that angel, uh, 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 through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, is giving uh, uh, the 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 knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the Holy Spirit, you know, to a uh, uh, chosen vessels, man, that were preordained and predestined from the foundation of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? To teach this gospel in the last days, you know, this true gospel, the one true doc, uh, uh, gospel that's now coming out, that new song, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's been given to men, man. You know what I'm saying? And that and that began uh, uh, that that began in the latter 60s, early 70s with a man by the name of, of Abba Bivens, you know, and some other righteous men, you know, Masha, King Masha, you know, Yaikwab, you know, uh, uh, you know, Arya. And uh, uh, those things were, were, were taught to to on down to the men that you see today. You know, my apostles, Apostle uh, 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 Tahar. Apostle Gabar, Apostle Racha, and Apostle Aramlab, and on down to like-minded men that learn from them. My my elders here, Yashawamba Ariala, Yatazak, you know, uh, Arya Naza, you know, all the and on down to like-minded men as myself, you know. I learn from these men, man. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord, that's the that's that uh, uh, uh that that chain, man, of how things are going. 
uh, uh, from one man to the next man, from that man to the next man, man, you know, and so forth and so on. And this and 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 this uh, uh, uh this gospel being taught throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. But that's how it has happened, man. So it's not a literal angel, man. You know, and, that, and when you get into that word angel, man, it means messenger. You know, are we not messengers? We're delivering this gospel. We're messengers of the Most High. We're those angels, man. You know what I'm saying? So verse 7, Revelations 14 and 7, saying with a loud voice, fear the Most High. Are we not saying that, man? Ain't we out here telling these people there is no fear of the Lord in the earth and he's going to uh, 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 bring that back? You know, you're going to fear the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai before it's over? You know what I'm saying? He's going to he's going to rectify his himself and he's going to bring uh, uh, that name along with that fear of that name back into the earth, man, because it's been forgotten in these times, man. You know what I'm saying? By way of this devil who currently rules, man, you know, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know who that is. You know, Esau, Edom, man, the red people, you so-called self-proclaimed white people, man. You know, since the earth has been given into your hands. Nothing but 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 pure unadulterated madness, man. You know, wickedness and evil. You know what I'm saying? Iniquity, sin and iniquity. You know, just darkness, man. Total darkness. And that's why Isaiah 60 says what it says. You know, this the the, the earth in darkness and these people in gross darkness, man. Because the earth is in your hands right now, man. And that's why no one fears the Lord, man. Because you're reigning and ruling. You know. And, and and your your knowledge is is go, has gone out through the four corners of the earth, man, which is false knowledge, man, because you the you're the deceiver of, of the earth, man. You know. Revelations 14 and 7, saying with a loud voice, fear the most high and give glory to him. And we teach that, man. Are we not saying these things? Yes, we are. For the hour of his judgment is come. We're telling you people that the Lord is is visit is about to visit the earth that he made, pursuing the second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. You know? He's about to visit this place, and he's about to bring judgment down on this place, man, by, by via his son, uh, uh, Yehoshai, man. You know, because the scriptures tell you in Re uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter, that he's about to return and, and judge, to judge and make war, man. You know what I'm saying? So those judgments are coming. We teach these things. It says, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water, man. And we tell you, we, we teaching all of these things, man, you know. So the, is not the Lord dealing with these with us men, man? You know? Come on, man. You you people, man. This is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 6. And it reads, 1 Peter 4 and 6, For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the most high in the spirit. So the judgments are, come, are, are about to come down on, on, on the dead, man. Which is, 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 is Esau, these other nations, and two-third of Israel, man. You know? You're in a congregation of the dead, man. The dead are these, are, are these nations that are outside of the temple of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that don't have... Uh, 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 the spirit of the Lord with them, on them and with them, you know, because the scriptures tell you in, 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 in uh, John 6 and 60, 63 that the that this 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 the word quickeneth, man, which means to make alive, man. You know what I'm saying? So the only ones that are actually living and alive are, are the ones who have this true gospel, man, the elect, the one third, man, those that are learning, those believers that are learning from those elect chosen men to, to bring this gospel out uh, 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 in the latter days, man, you know. So the dead are, is about to be judged according to men in the flesh, man. So it's men in the flesh that are bringing these things to, uh, uh, to pass, man. You know? And the judgments that they're teaching are going to come to pass, man. When they tell you that you're going to be destroyed, it's going to happen, man. You know? Because those judgments are being set forth in the earth, man, by way of men in the flesh. We're reading it right here in 1 Peter 4 and 6, man. So the Lord deals with men in the earth, man. But live according to the most high in the spirit. And that's the elect, man. You know, the one third, man. You know, so uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we'll read the next verse. Verse seven, it says, but in, but the end of all things is at hand. And we know that everybody knows that this is the end, man. You know, you ask anybody and their mama and they'll tell you, yeah, this is the end times. OK, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. 
you know, and when you get into that word sober, it means to have a sound mind, man. You know, and how, how can you have a, sign, a sound mind? You have to have a sound doctrine. As a matter of fact, let me let me go here. Let me go here and I'll come back. Let me go and finish that out. Uh, uh, what is that in Isaiah? Salakia. Isaiah chapter 33 and verse six. And it reads this is Isaiah 33 and six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. So the knowledge, wisdom and understanding the true doctrine is going to give you stability, uh, uh, the stability of thy times, because we're coming into some some terrible times, man. You know, Jacob's trouble, you know, hey, man, the, like I said, the Lord is visiting, is visiting the earth in which he made. It tells you that in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man, you know, so it's going to be the stability of thy time. It's going to keep the elect stable, man, you know, because they're, they're going to understand these things have to happen and why they're happening, man. The two third ain't going to have that, man, and they're going to bug out, you know, right as they're being put to death or right before they get put to death. And strength of salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? So this knowledge is gonna is gonna bring salvation, man. You know, and 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 the strength of salvation. You know that fear. You know, which it tells you in Proverbs, uh, uh, the first chapter, man. The fear of the Lord is is the beginning of wisdom, man. You know, to have the true doctrine is gonna is gonna give you that fear, man. You know, because the doctrine of this world teaches you love, 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 man. The Lord loves everybody, man. You're not going to fear a, a power of love because you're not going to think that he's going to do any, any, any harmful thing to you, man. And that's why they've been blaming Satan, which it is at the end of the day. It is Satan, but the Satan works for the Lord, man. You know, the Lord has to sign off before Satan does anything, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just the left hand of the, of the Lord, man, which is all the, it's still the Lord, man. And they don't have that understanding. So they don't have that fear, man. They fear Satan more than they fear uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine these times, man. You know, which Satan works for the Lord. So that's that fear of the Lord. But the, the, this true doctrine is the strength of your salvation, man. To have that 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 one true gospel, that right doctrine, man, which is sound. That's a sound doctrine, which is that sound mind. Let's go back to First Peter, uh, four and six now. So like in verse seven. Uh, 1 Peter 4 and, and 7, but the end of all things is at, is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, having that sound mind, that's that sound doctrine, you know, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's going to bring that stability and that salvation and watch into prayer. And that's what we're doing, the elect, man, those watchers, those seers, those men out here that's that's blowing the, 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 the trumpet, man, and warning you people, we're watching, man. We're, 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 and what? How, how are we watching, man? We're, we're lining up the prophecies by way of, of th events in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? These we, The different news uh, sources and articles, you know, and filtering those things through the scriptures, man. You know, that, which is the Bible is the is that, uh, you know, that's how you measure the, the, the times, man. Again, second edge of the ninth chapter, man. You know, so we're watching unto uh, unto prayer, man. Praying without ceasing, man. You know. So, so again, Mo, you know, the, the Lord deals with, with, with men in the flesh. He dealt with Moses, man. He dealt with, with uh, uh, King David, man. He dealt with uh, Elijah. He dealt with Noah, you know, and as a, he dealt with Yahawashai. As a matter of fact, uh, 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 he dealt with Noah and what, and don't the scriptures make a, a similitude of, of, of Noah, man, as, as in the days of Noah, shall it also be in the days of son, son of the son of man, roughly paraphrasing. So if he dealt with Noah, which was a man in the flesh. That similitude would tell you that he's dealing with somebody in these times that's in the flesh, man. You know, and he told Noah to build that ark, you know, and all them scoffers back then got put in that water, man. So in these times, men are doing the same thing. We're telling you that the Lord is about to bring that judgment. Though it's, it, this, that, then it was water. This time it's going to be fire, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, you know, hey, again. The, the Lord dealt with uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, man. So let me get, let me get, let me get this in First John, uh, the fourth chapter. I'm, I'm going to read verse two and it reads, this First John four and two. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh of the, is of the most high, man. So you have to believe that, that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, man. And if he came in the flesh, if you believe that he came in the flesh, he was a prophet as well, man. So the Lord was dealing with Yahabashai, you know, and of course you read the next verse it goes into those who, if you don't believe that he came in the flesh, you're not of the most high, man. You're, you know, so, so the most high deals with men, man. He dealt with Yahabashai, man, you know, so you people got to, got to, you know, hey, man, 
What are you talking about? You know, and the scriptures tell you in first uh, uh, Corinthians, the 14th chapter. And verse 32. Come on. First Corinthians 14 and 32 and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. You know, so just like the Lord dealt with the prophets, those men back then, you know, those spirits are subject to the prophets, man. So those, uh, you know, those prophets are back in these times and the Lord is dealing with them as well, man. You know, it just is. The Lord has always dealt with men. He's always dealt with his prophets, which were men. As a matter of fact, let me get this one in Luke real quick. Luke chapter one. And verse uh, 70, this is Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So he's always done it that way, man. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, you know, the prophet Nathan, was he not a man that dealt with King David, man? Was he not a man? He was a man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, Samuel, was Samuel not a man? You know, you come on, you people, man. These people are bug bugged out when they when they try to make these points, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, so the Lord deals with men in the flesh, man, and and, and He tells you He tells you in uh, uh in the book of Malachi, the third chapter, in verse six, it's Malachi three and six. For I am the Lord; I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord doesn't change, man. So he's always dealt with the prophets, man, which are men in the flesh since the, uh, uh, the, the world began, man. So from the beginning, man, on up to the day, he doesn't change. So he's still getting down like that, man. So the Lord is dealing with men, man, in the flesh, man, you know, and, and just before, before I get out of here, man, you know, because like I said, I didn't want to make this too long. You know, I just want to bring out a few scriptures to make that point that the Lord is dealing with men in the flesh, man. You know, for all you that, that have a problem with that, man. You know, you got a problem with the Lord. Take it up with the Lord, man. No, he's going to take it up with you, you know. But, uh, you know, just before I get out, let me make one last point. You know, uh, even uh, Sir, Sir Isaac Newton uh, uh, made a statement, man. And he said about the time of the end, a body of men will be raised up who would turn their attention to the prophecies and insist upon their literal interpretation, which we're doing <laughs> in the midst of much uh, uh, clamor and opposition, man, you know, and that was between like uh, 1642 and, and 1747. But he said that, man, you know, Sir Isaac New Newton made that statement, man. So even he knew. So there's people that, that know these things, man. You know what I'm saying? Then you got these people in the, in the earth that don't know nothing, you know, don't know we which way is up. Which way is left or right? Which way is down, man? You know, they don't know. They can't tell you anything, you know, like literally uh, 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 living up under a rock, man, and, and have the 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 uh, the uh, intelligence of a box of rocks. And they'll try to tell you, you know, something, man, when they don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, it is what it is. But but uh, yeah, the, the Lord is dealing with men in the, in, in the, on the earth in the flesh, man, you know, and, and those men are the very men that you see. Week in, week out on these uh, uh, highways and byways, you know, uh, uh, in season, out of season, you know, bringing this word out, man, you know, prophesying against this wicked uh, uh, kingdom known as uh, uh, spiritual Babylon, America, man, you know. So, uh, hey, it is what it is, man, you know. With that, you know, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah Dawadah Shalom.